Hi, my name is Alex and we're here today in beautiful Pasadena, California, bringing you coverage from the 2009 Pacific Astronomy and Telescope Show. The show attracts vendors from across the industry and across uh, the United States that come here to share the experience in telescope making and in astronomy with the general public. Hopefully you'll find this coverage interesting and engaging. Located right at the main entrance, Celestron Booth was one of the main attractions of the show. And our new groundbreaking HHD optics were naturally the main attraction at the booth. Hello, my name is Ben Houck. I'm a specialty account sales manager with Celestron. We're here at the Pat's Astronomy Show, and today I want to talk a little bit about the Edge HD optical system. The Edge HD optical system is a brand new optical set from Celestron. Um, what we're looking to do is find an optical system that's not only going to be able to perform excellent visually, but also be an excellent photographic instrument. Uh, two main things we we're looking to fight were coma and field curvature. And the new optical system built into Edge HD is able to correct out coma while at the same time also correcting out field curvature. Um, so versus a standard Schmidt Cassegrain system, you're going to see significantly better edge correction, which is very important with the larger CCD sensors out on the market today. Uh, it's also going to be very important for digital SLR imagers. So what we're looking to do is, is capture an affordable optical system that's going to be able to give you the performance of much higher quality systems. So we're in the in the past looking at an 8-inch system like this. You might be looking at you know, $5,000, $6,000 for a higher quality optical system. We're in the $1,500 range. A mechanical feature that we added to the Edge HD system is the tension adjustments for the primary mirror. And in a standard system where you're using the single point for focus, as the optical tube actually moves across the sky, the mirror will actually shift slightly, which will actually shift the image on the CCD plane. So this tension system will actually lock in on three additional points, which will secure the mirror so as you move across the field it will stay in place, you'll keep the image on the CCD sensor. We've also built in vent on the rear of the tube, which has a 60 micron filter system built in, so hot air can vent out of the tube, allowing the tube to cool down faster without any dust or particles getting into the optical system. The Edge HD system is also FASTAR compatible, which means that it can use any of the Hypostar systems, which allows you to image at F2, which gives you an extremely wide field of view and very short exposure times, which is excellent for CCD imaging. So, my name is Ben Houck. Once again, this is the Edge HD Optical System at PATS. For more information on the Edge HD Optical System, visit www.celestron.com. Celestron's new flagship product, CG Pro Computerized Mount, was also a big hit at the show. We got a rare opportunity to chat with Rick Garrison, who is personally responsible for the industrial design of this impressive piece of technology. Hi, my name is Rick Garrison. I'm the principal engineer of design over here at Celestron. What I really want to talk about is the uh, design that went into it. And as you can see, it's classical Celestron branding. The ergonomic high-tech design, it's aesthetically pleasing, but also you're able to transport them out around easily by using uh, the pockets as actual handles. Another key feature of this CG Pro is that it's modular. It's easy to disassemble and put back together. It breaks down in five separate pieces. The tripod, electronics pier, base, and your two axes actually come apart as well. The total weight of the mount, not including the OTA and one counterweight, is 154 pounds. The uh, clutch knobs and the uh, dovetail clamp knobs are different shape during the night when you want to unclutch your axes uh, to move your telescope around manually. You're able to do it with confidence and you have to worry about accidentally unclutching the dovetail and having your, your dovetail slip. It's all keyless adjustment. You don't need any tools to do any kind of polar alignment or adjust the mount whatsoever. The knobs are ergonomically designed so they're easy to use and to maneuver uh, with gloves and mittens on. For more information on this product, go to Celestron.com and there we have full specifications of the mount and our new OTA. But Celestron folks were not the only ones praising the new CGE Pro mount. 
walking the show with so many other manufacturers using CG Pro mounts to complement their optics. One of these people was Rick Hedrick, the founder of Plane Wave Instruments and one of the inventors of the revolutionary new CDK optics. Hi, I'm Rick Hedrick with Plane Wave Instruments. I'm here at the Patch Show 2009. Right here is the CDK 12.5. Um, right, and I'm, we're displaying this telescope on top of the Celestron CGE Pro. This is a wonderful combination, the, the 12 and a half inch CDK along with the CGE Pro. Yeah, the CGE Pro has a very large payload capacity and it's very good for holding a telescope of this size. This telescope is designed for high-end astrophotography, nice wide field images with high-end cameras and you need to have a mount that will hold the telescope and be able to track precisely and the CGE Pro is, is, is a wonderful combination with that. It has good tracking accuracy, has permanent PEC and even without the permanent PEC it has about nine arc seconds of periodic air. So it's a very, you can get along with taking unguided exposures for some amount of time. In addition it's very good for auto guiding. It has there's almost zero backlash in the declination axis, which is crucial for auto guiding. The mount can hold up to 90 pounds. Our telescope here is 46 pounds, so it's made it really well with this mount. For a portable setup like this, you need to polar line. And for many telescopes, that takes that's a very long process. The CGE Pro has all-star polar alignment process, which doesn't use Polaris, so it's a much more accurate way of polar lining the telescope. You actually slew to a star off to, the, off to the side, it picks the star to go to, and you actually center it by adjusting your azimuth and altitude adjustments, and that gives you a really accurate polar alignment. The CGE Pro can track past the meridian, which is also a very good feature when you're imaging near the meridian, as you cross the meridian, you want to continue your image, you can get to continue an hour past that. In addition, you can choose which side, if you're slewing to an object, if you want to slew to the opposite side of the meridian because you're getting ready for a shot, you can do that. That's a feature in the software also. For more information about Plane Wave Instruments, you can go to www.planewave.com. And for more information about Celestron, you can go to www.celestron.com. CG Pro was not the only Celestron platform recognized by the other telescope makers. Celestron's accurate and relatively lightweight CGM computerized mounts were also quite popular at the PATS show. Hi, my name is Vic Maris and I'm here at the PATS show in Pasadena. Uh, it's a great telescope show, a great opportunity for people to see all of the telescopes and equipment that's available. And it's a great place for StellarView to introduce its new relationship with Celestron. And you see here a perfect match made in heaven. This is the Celestron CGEM mount, uh, which is a go-to computerized mount. And riding on top is our StellarView SVR-130 Raptor, which is the finest 130 millimeter APO triplet made, in my humble opinion. Uh, this combination is excellent because the go-to accuracy of this mount is excellent and uh, allows uh, the user to go from object to object without having to worry about finding things. Also, the Celestron mounts perform perfectly for astrophotography. The Celestron CGE is an excellent mount for use with our telescopes for imaging. So, uh, StellarView now uses um, dedicated field flatteners for each one of our telescopes. So you can use medium, uh, small, medium, or large size chips uh, and get uh, sharp images all the way to the edge. Customers have been uh, calling us ever since uh, we announced that StellarView and Celestron are partnering up with a lot of enthusiasm. There are a lot of people out there that really enjoy using the new CGEM mount and uh, they may own a CGE or a CGE Pro. And when you combine razor sharp apochromatic optics with the accuracy and the user friendliness of the Celestron mounts, you really do have a match made in heaven. To learn more about StellarView products, go to StellarView.com. To learn more about Celestron's outstanding equatorial mounts, go to Celestron.com. As the day drew to a close, almost everyone at the show gathered around Celestron's booth for some customary giveaways. A few lucky amateur astronomers walked away with first scope telescopes. The grand prize winner, though, took home an impressive Nexstar SLT computerized telescope. We left Pasadena just as the sun started to touch the tops of the trees surrounding the picturesque convention center. 
The summer was reluctant to release its grip on Los Angeles. Its heat was still seeping out of the sweltering pavement, but in it was the promise of impending nighttime cool, relative darkness, impossible observing. Jupiter, here we come. <laughs> 